Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is lift, lower, or cut anchor. An anchor serves a common purpose on a ship or a boat, to stop it from moving. Lower the anchor, and it engages and connects the vessel to the seabed, ensuring that it stays put. It prevents drifting in the wind and current, which would put those on board at great risk. And it provides stability with a sharp projection that hooks into the rock or soil. Periodically, a boat anchor can get wedged into the seabed so tight that it's difficult or impossible to get it out. In this case, some boaters keep a sharp knife handy so that they can cut the rope linked to the anchor. Particularly, if the vessel is in perilous water or weather, it's important to be able to quickly release what's holding it back. Anchors also exist symbolically in organizations. They're the critical part of grounding teams in why they exist, what they do, how they do it, and who they do it for. They're a weighty stabilizing force to keep teams focused on a goal. Anchors in organizations can look like people who know the history of the group and make decisions based on generally accepted norms. They can look like processes that are important to accomplish goals. They might look like practices and behaviors that are commonly used, or they might look like performance expectations of what it takes to fit into the group. And because they're deeply embedded in the organization's culture, these anchors are often unnoticed until transformation is needed. Organizations inevitably develop new strategies to improve results. Then they realize how embedded their anchors are, based on how easy it is to lift them and move forward. Now, boaters tell funny stories about what happened when they revved the motor to move forward and then recognized they weren't getting anywhere because they forgot that the anchor was still down. Similarly, stories abound of change strategies that stalled or took longer than expected or even failed because leaders misread how difficult it would be to unmoor team members from their past. A variety of anchors are embedded in organizations and thus keep teams stuck in place. They look like people whose skill sets no longer serve the organization's purpose, processes that no longer accomplish the goal, practices that are counterproductive, or performing in a manner to meet personal needs instead of focusing on the greater good of the team. Sometimes leaders can work with teams to develop and build support for strategies that will accomplish the desired change, unembedding and lifting the anchor. And at other times it's necessary to cut the anchor, leave it behind because it's too difficult to unwedge it from the past. Cutting the anchor may look like finding new roles and homes for people, show them where they can add value in different ways in the future, engaging process owners to recognize, honor, and retire an ineffective process and then create a new one. Identifying new goals and developing practices that support it. Modeling new performance expectations and accountability at the leadership level. Anchors are valuable. They deserve respect. They're a safety essential and experienced boaters take time to try and unwedge them when they're stuck. Yet, each time it's necessary to cut one loose, it must be replaced with a new one with improved functionality for the waters in which you're operating. So lower your anchors when you want to establish a foundation, norms, and behaviors. It helps to cement your culture in place. Lift your anchors and carry them with you as they add value in your transition to new strategies, customs, and values. And cut your anchors when holding onto them risk a broader negative impact to the team or organization. Happy sailing and thanks for listening.